Hi, welcome to Ricarte's Crossing. Okay, for the last week, basically, I have been looking at the, well, the last few days anyway, have been looking at the primordial tarot again, sort of revisiting, if you like, it's really, oh, it's only the third of the month, I keep thinking it's closer to more than that, but anyway, it's the third of the month, so let's just look at what I've been learning or what I've rediscovered um, working with the primordial tarot, um, going through and writing up my own thoughts. Now, I've got this on my tarot journal online on my blog, so I'll leave the link down below in um, what my thoughts were in regards to the major arcana. I haven't started working with the minor arcana yet. I'm just working through the major. So let's, what I've done today um, is to just shuffle the major arcana only. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, what I've done is shuffle the major arcana and I'm just going to do a sort of a quickish type reading. Oh, one card's already popped out, so let's have a look. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? So what I've done is I've taken six cards out of the Major Arcana, randomly, and I'm going to look at um, them, to, them together. So the first one we've got is the fool. So the fool to me was this man here who is full of joy and laughter. And the egg here to me represents sort of like the birthing or, you know, birthing of something, waiting, anticipation of something here. And we've got the lovers. So maybe there's an anticipation of waiting in regards to a relationship, a union in some way. Sorry, this card is union, not lovers, it's union. So there is a, maybe a sense of waiting for the partnership to actually take. There does seem to be sort of like, an. I'm getting here very much of an, an anticipation in regards to this new union that's going on, this new partnership in some way. So that's interesting. Okay, next, let's have a look. We've got the abundance. Now, was this abundance? And we've got source. So we have the sense of this abundance. Now, why do I do that? Why do I go blank? I'm sure it's abundance. And then you get that self-doubt coming in too close. Yep, it's abundance, exactly what I thought. I felt like it was bound, abundance, um, bounty coming into play here. So it does feel like if you can get to the source of what's actually going on, you are going to feel like there's an abundance coming in, like there's a flow, an excess flow. It does feel like... Um, with this card here. So with the um, you know the development or something new, a new journey in regards to this relationship on some level, there is going to be an abundance and um, you know it just feels like there's a lot go coming into fruition and it's going to be quite um, it's going to flow quite easily. So it does feel like there is that energy coming through. So here we've got the star here. So we've got the hopes, the dreams. It does feel like, again, that there is that, that coming out. There is that explosion of light within the situation. And it does come from one's own progress and what actually moves through. So the progress does bring a sense of um, light within the whole situation. So this is a really interesting um, reflection for me as I sort of move into this whatever's going on in my journey. It does feel like there is a new relationship, a new union, a new partnership 
coming into play. It does feel like it, there's a sense of abundance, this flow, this easy flow. It does feel like emotionally that things are going to flow quite well. It is going to come into, but it's just a reminder to stay in moderation, not to get too excessive either. Even though it's going to flow quite well, there does seem to be, and it does feel like there is going to be a progress. It does feel like things are going to develop. Um, these results are going to be achieved and it does come through with the light shining through on the whole situation. It feels like there's a burst of energy, a burst of um, progress in what goes on. So it does feel like it's going to be a positive energy coming through. So that's it from me, um, what I'm going through as I've sort of learned a little bit more about what these cards physically mean or intuitively mean as I sort of start to look at these cards. Now blue seems very strong so it does talk about communication being really really important as well. I think it's a lot about the importance of the intuition. Now it's interesting that we have both pink and green here so it's very much about the heart chakra coming in. So I think it's about sort of being an unconditional love, opening your heart to the possibilities of whatever that will be. So this is really interesting. So I'm looking forward to discovering a bit more about the minor suits as I look at my own thoughts about what each card could mean. So don't forget to check the links below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe and ring that bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and blessed be.